I'm Utkarsh and I lead the Ubuntu release team at Canonical and this talks about, uh, all the, about the Ubuntu's monthly snapshots and why do we really do this to ourselves? Um, is the clicker supposed to work? Stronger. 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 Okay. All right. Before we understand why do we do it to ourselves, it's important to know how and when did this, this idea come to life. So until 2504, the release team was just following some template checklists which were often outdated and a lot of things were not how they were supposed to be in 2025. So we decided like something needed to change, uh, but we were, still, we were only running the release process once a cycle, twice a year. Uh, so we did not have much time to improve or like, you know, retrade on those processes. And we've had a lot of problems working with uh, like, you know, so many people because release doesn't just involve five people in the room just releasing it, but also the Ubuntu flavors, the community, uh, Launchpad folks, the IS, uh, which is the canonical sysadmin team, and so many other people. Um, and so if one thing slips, it, it creates a lot of problem towards for the release. Uh, and a lot of those processes are manual. So it really needed a change, right? But to also still fully understand how did this come to life, uh, I think we'll have to go back to January of this year. Um, so, harder. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. January 2025. I suppose we, you've seen or have at least heard of this guy. Uh, John became a VP of Ubuntu, and everything was good. He decided that he wants to be more involved in all the things that we are doing, especially the release prints and all the all the activities that happened in the release room. Um, and okay, this is great. Nice. So. 25 or 4 release sprints, this was good. I was showing people how, oh, how we SSH into, into like, you know, our pl uh, into a production environment where we build the images and then how we release it and how we respin those and it, it was nice. And John was there taking, taking notes, like he was listening and then he was like, and then he was, he was not saying anything. It, it's like, you know, he's got a nice smile, nice eyes, like, you know, he's a smooth talker. So it's like something, <laughs> something, something is wrong, right? Like, and then right after the release sprints, he chose violence. Where he's like, <laughs> we're, we're releasing every month. And I'm like, say what, now? And was, he's like, yeah, that's, that's happening. And I guess that's, that's what happened. And release panic, instant release panic with Tim there. Uh, pretty day, I was like, what, just, what, what are we going to do? Um, anyway, uh, so we, we, did, uh, we did monthly snapshots, ultimately. I do not have much time because my talk was 30 minutes, cut down to five. So I'm going to speed run this. Uh, I think if you're subscribed to one of the mailing lists and discourse posts, you would have seen me uh, post a lot about monthly snapshots, maybe more than John at this point. Uh, but for those who are not aware, um, I'll just recap what monthly snapshots are, which are not fully fledged releases of Ubuntu. These are, in fact, like, you know, we just, towards the end of the month, uh, last Thursday of the month, we just take uh, we just take the archive and then we just build an image out of it and we just release it as if we were to release an actual image. Uh, and the main purpose is to improve the release process and machinery so that the final release process can be much more improved and like, you know, it can be automated. Um, fast forward to now, I think in the last cycle we did um, six releases, including four snapshots, one beta and then one final release. Um, we had, we, we've done a lot of automation, simple streams are automatically generated. We've done a lot of test stop in Raspberry Pis. Um, uh, a lot of work has gone there and they're au automatically run now. So earlier used to, like to put it in perspective, earlier it used to take two, three days of work for two full-time engineers work, working on it, on it. And now it's like one hour Jenkins run for just him to run. If you've seen his talk, he's like, damn. He, he just runs those jobs and then it's, it's done. And most importantly, we've sig significantly improved our checklist uh, and we've reduced it by 38%, simpli simplified it further by 16, and we're making a lot of more progress in the next cycle. For the next one, we're sunsetting the ISO tracker. Uh, we're using different, uh, we're, we're still experimenting with different things. We're going to plug in those use cases and test observers, see how it's going to work. Working with Launchpad to automate a few things, when we are continuously uh, improving checklists, to, and we are going to start writing Go functions and put it in temporal to see how how it how it works out. And yeah, so all in all, we are working very hard to like you know um, make this ten make the release process much smoother, much better, and much more reliable. And in that, uh, whilst we do that, we we might um, find out there's. The 
we might kill some tools that we were using it. We might change the way we do things. And if it causes problems, and if you have any questions, reach out to John Seeger, because he's the <laughs> one, and not me. Anyway, yeah.